When it comes to being careful with taxpayer money, some public officials just don't get it. In fact, if you want to know how some local politicians simply squander your hard earned dollars, then pay attention to Larry Barker's latest investigation. At the Roundhouse, it's called Project 463. But ask lawmakers just what it is, and you'll get blank stares. Mark Moores is an Albuquerque state senator. I read the description of what this project is, and it didn't make any sense. In fact, the only thing anyone really knows about Project 463 is that it will cost taxpayers $50,000. It was very nebulous. It asked for money, but didn't actually tell us what it was going to. Project 463 is a request from the Bernalillo County Commission to lawmakers for $50,000 to build an international heavy metal music mobile museum. But hold on. That sounds familiar. You see, this isn't the first time Bernalillo County is seeking taxpayer money for a heavy metal music museum. Last year, the very same museum project was the subject of a News 13 investigation. In 2022, music enthusiast Mike Trujillo came up with the idea of a museum featuring the history of heavy metal music. You, heavy metal always gets a very bad rap over the decades for one thing or another. And I think that there's more positives to the genre of music than there is negatives, and there's a lot that they can benefit to learn. He envisioned a $50,000 mobile museum that could be moved from location to location displaying musical artifacts like drumsticks and t-shirts. Trujillo didn't have money of his own, so he pitched his idea to Bernalillo County Commissioner Adrian Barboa. Did he send you a proposal, written proposal, for what he wanted to do? No, I never received a written proposal. He talked to me about the program and said that he had had legislative support. How was the $50,000 going to be expended? On a New Mexico Music Mobile Museum that would highlight New Mexico musicians and specifically heavy metal in our state. Now the commissioner thought a music museum would be a good use of public funds. So last year, the county petitioned state lawmakers for a capital outlay appropriation to build the museum project. State Senator Mo Maestas co-sponsored the appropriation. New Mexico music has never had a national chart buster but it is uh, very important to the culture and the people of this state. So to capture that in a museum, I think would be fantastic. Speaker of the House Javier Martinez also sponsored the museum project. Any project that helps improve the quality of life for our residents, for young people, for older people, I think is worthy of investment. It was only after lawmakers appropriated $50,000 for Bernalillo County's museum project that we learned County and legislative officials had been careless, even reckless, with taxpayers' money. When it came to Project 1891, they didn't follow the rules. They broke them. You see, nobody at Bernalillo County bothered to verify the details of the museum proposal. If they had, they would have found that it was a $50,000 project with no documentation, no plans, no design, and no budget. And when county officials ask state lawmakers to fund the project, they improperly circumvented commission policy. Clay Campbell is the county's chief of staff. Did the county evaluate Mr. Trujillo's project for viability? No, we did not. Again, I will accept responsibility for that. And when state reps Maestas and Martinez put their seal of approval on the museum project with a $50,000 appropriation, they ignored legislative guidelines by using capital outlay funds for an ill-conceived project that lacked plans or budget. After New Mexico's finance department raised questions about the legality of the appropriation, Bernalillo County quietly dropped the project. End of story, not quite. Among the funding requests submitted to lawmakers this year is Project 463. It's a Bernalillo County heavy metal music mobile museum. Here we go again. 
It's buried on page five of Bernalillo County's legislative capital outlay priorities, sandwiched between new patrol cars for the sheriff's office and South Valley sewer improvements is a request for $50,000 to build a heavy metal music mobile museum to, quote, enhance the cultural learning of New Mexico children and underserved communities. Nobody at the county knows what the mobile museum will look like, but the project sponsor says it will include display structures, a concrete stone and bronze art installation, museum artifact cases, as well as monitors and speakers. And even though the project still doesn't have a master plan or cost estimate, commissioners want lawmakers to fund the project anyway. Was capital outlay intended for things like heavy metal music museums? It definitely was not. State Senator Pete Campos sits on the Senate Finance Committee. When we talk about a local government taking care of the basic needs for their citizens, this is not one of those basic needs. I don't know what a Bernalillo County heavy metal music museum is, and I'm very concerned about Bernalillo County saying this is one of their priorities. The need in New Mexico is better schools, and better police officers, and better infrastructure, sewers, and dams, and water systems. We do not need an RV to go around and promote heavy metal music in New Mexico. We need stuff that actually improves the quality of life for our constituents. So how does Bernalillo County justify its decision? Well, they don't. The county manager and her staff refused interviews, and none of the five elected commissioners return phone calls for comment. I expect Bernalillo County to do a better job of vetting these programs in the future. This is not acceptable. By them saying this is a critical need for Bernalillo County really makes me question their judgment. My message to Bernalillo County today is this. Really look at the health and safety and the well-being needs of the people of the area. That goes to water and sewer and the very basics. If we don't do this right, we'll continue to squander resources that could go to make people's lives better. After reviewing the results of News 13's investigation, County Manager Julie morgus Baca decided to pull the plug on the Music Museum by withdrawing the county's legislative funding request. Never mind. Larry Barker, KRQE, News 13. Following our investigation, County Commissioner Eric Olivas contacted News 13 to say his vote to seek public funding for the Music Museum project was a mistake. I'm embarrassed by this vote. I'm embarrassed by this project. I don't believe that reflects the good work that we do here at Bernalillo County. And I'm committed to uh, righting the wrong and, and making the best out of this to do something good with our overall capital outlay process.